Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about what are the job opportunities that you can have if you graduate with a degree in biology. This is a video that everyone has been requesting in my previous videos about BS Biology and I cannot answer it one by one because number one, I don't really have a lot of information about the course Aww. itself even though ako po ay kumukuha ng BS Biology and I am not that super sure because when I entered Biology, I was not necessarily looking for what are the jobs that I can take if I graduate with that degree. I was more of the student na very idealistic na kapag kinuha ko yung gusto kong course, eh magiging masaya ako. Basically, I did not look like super ahead of my time po na kailangan ko talaga tingnan ko ano talaga yung makakuha akong trabaho kapag romantic ako ng biology. Because I was very idealistic na kaya kong maging doctor if ever. And yun, so hopefully bigyan ko ng chance ni Lord. Pero yeah, yun. So before anything else, please don't forget to click the like button, share mo na rin sa mga friends mo. Also, do leave some comments po talaga ng mga video suggestions na gusto nyong gawin ko in the future. May it be bio-related or personal vlogs and I will really really appreciate that. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. Pero please do subscribe talaga. Please, please. Oh, oh. And also do click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga ka -ka -ka. So going back, BS Biology is a course that focuses on the sciences of life. Oh, bio, life, science. Oh. But biology is a very wide uh, course to take. So you can proceed to medical field, you can proceed to environmental field, and you can also proceed to medicine if you take biology. Kasi yun nga, unlike the other medical bi medical courses in general, biology does not only focus on like, for example, the person or the life of a person. It focuses on the general life forms. All, all, all of the life forms. So there are topics for biology about animals, there are topics about plants, there are topics about microbiology there are also topic about human anatomy depending on the course uh, curriculum of your school so guys I'm not really sure about this thing so ito lang po is gathered knowledge ko lang po and if you na nanonood nito is may alam ka na information about the jobs in BS Biology, please do leave it in the comment section because it will really help a lot of people especially those na pupunta pa lang ng college if they really want to take BS Biology. So anyways, yun nga, hindi naman po talaga ako super sure sa mga ipagsasabihin ko sa inyo, pero ito po yung mga information na nagather ko from other people and based on my observation sa mga naka-graduate na po na, ka, na hindi ko ka-batch. So first of all, other than West Visayas State University, this, the university that I was applying to sana is Aklan State University who offered also BS Biology. Kaso lang, during our time po kasi, hindi ko alam na may tracking na rin po dito. So, ngayon may tracking na dito which is ecology and microbiology. Pero before in previous years po kasi, most of the graduates of biology in Aklan State University, most of them proceeded to complete their master's degree and proceed to become a professor or some of them also studied uh, in Manila. Take their master's degree and proceed to become a microbiologist. So, ngayon, there is the microbiology program na po dito sa Aklan State University. So, I think in time, magkakaroon na rin ng improvements or magkakaroon na rin ng mas maraming opportunities for BS Biology graduates dito sa Aklan. So, West Side State University, as I have said, there are three tracks po. Most of our medical biology graduates proceed to med. Yun po kakaalam ko. Pero some who do not proceed to med, take up master's degree and then teach as biology professors. And there's also biotechnology and microbiology graduates. Most of the graduates who do not proceed to microbiology eventually become researchers. So, marami pong field ang research sa biology. And that's the greatest advantage. Kasi yun nga, biology is a very wide field. And you can make research not only on um, animals or diabetes or things like that. There are also research aspects of biology which focuses only on fungi. There are also research in biology that only focuses on marine biology. There are also research that focus on agricultural biology. So therefore, maraming po kayong pwedeng applyan na trabaho kapag you become a biologist. Pero, yun nga, mostly research talaga. So where can you apply? Ang pagkakalam ko, there are a lot of biology graduates sa DNR and 
uh, agricultural department. I don't know, not necessarily super sure ako, pero yun pagkakalam ko. And what I really like about that is, yun nga, I really like na nature. Nature. <laughs> I like nature and most of them go uh, hiking and looking for specimens in places po na hindi halos napupuntahan and mga kagubatan pong lugar. And the good thing about that is, we discover a lot of things about our ecosystem and our local fauna and flora. Actually, one of my dreams as a biology student is to see a Raflesha. And most of our graduates in biology already seen one. So, gusto ko talaga makakita in time. So, in time. Basically, if you don't proceed to medicine, there is also a lot of opportunities waiting for you. Mostly on research. Pero some also proceed to education. So, they take units in teaching or diploma in teaching. Some also take ma'ed na lang, Masters of Arts in Education. And then eventually, they take their PhD or their Doctor of Philosophy na degree. So most of our teachers are actually graduates of Biology in West Versailles State University. So we really trust na yung system po ng West Versailles State University really works because ang dami po namin nakikita na successful na talaga ng professors namin. Like, um, we have a professor who also graduated as a Doctor of Philosophy and also an attorney. And what's good about biology, since malapag po yung field niya, you can also take units sa other medical field. Like for example, if you want to proceed to uh, medtech, you can take units for medtech, you can take units for uh, nursing, yung ganun po na ano, part. Kaso lang hindi ko alam kung magiging madali ba yun or magiging mas mahirap. Pero yeah, you can, you can take units for other medical courses if you don't want to proceed to medicine or you cannot proceed to medicine. That's a good option. And next one, one of the most questions po talaga na na-receive ko is ano pa yung makukuha ang trabaho kapag kumuha ka ng microbiology? Actually, microbiology in the Philippines is has been there for a long time na. Kaso lang hindi po siya siguro napapansin masyado. To become a microbiologist in the Philippines, you only need to take units for microbiology. You do not necessarily need to take the board exam, I think. Kasi yun pagkakaalam ko. Uh, most of our graduates of BS Biology major in microbiology at West Side State University uh, proceed to factories like uh, San Miguel Corporation, I think. Uh, daming I think. No? Kasi hindi yung pagkakalam ko. So, ang job po talaga ng microbiologist is to quality control. Yun po yung ginagawa nila. So, in our visit once in um, in a plant or a factory doon po sa Negros, we visited a huge factory. Like, ang laki-laki talaga ng factory. And, in the quality control na part, doon po nagtatrabaho yung microbiologist nila. So, what do microbiologists do? So basically, what they do is quality control. So for example, po dumating na po yung isang batch ng mga pagkain na produce ng factory. <laughs> so what they do is they take samples and then they check for bacteria po. So once na sumabra po yung mga bacteria po na tumutubo doon sa uh, specific na food, it can cause problems po sa in the human body. And that's the time the microbiologists claim if there should be a sanitation of the whole factory or there should be um, things like that. Yung action po na ng factory. So in the field of microbiology, there are exams po. There is an exam that you can take to become a registered microbiologist that is given by the Philippine Association of Microbiologists. So ang pagkakaalam ko po is you do not necessarily, do not, you do not necessarily need to take the board exam or the registration exam or the certification exam. You just need to take the units to become a microbiologist. Pero yung example na yun, it will help you in your credentials po. Kasi, uh, rin recognize din po yun ng mga companies po na nag-hire po ng microbiologists. So yeah, that's basically it guys. And ako kasi, personally, I entered biology not because ang daming job opportunities na nag sa biology or because ang lapat po ng field. I entered biology because I was unsure of what to take in college. I was sure that I wanted to take biology, but I'm not sure if what I wanted to do after I graduate. So, ako personally, I had two options. I want to teach. Yun po talaga yung gusto ko, yun po yung passion ko. Pero, deep inside me, I also want to proceed to medicine. So, I saw biology as a field na pwede kong i-proceed both teaching and medicine na mag-excel talaga ako. So, yeah. So, idealistically speaking, if you're unsure to take what to take up in the medical field or what to proceed to, if you want to proceed to medicine or you're not sure if your finances can do it. Eh, yun. Biology is a good option too. So, yeah. Pero, hindi lang po kami pang option, ah. 
So yeah guys, again, I don't really know much about the job opportunities for BS Biology graduates. So if you know some things, please do leave them in the comment section because it will really help a lot of people who na nanonood ng vlog ko. I know na hindi naman marami, pero changing one's life is in an instant lang. Like, ganun mo lang, makaka-change ka ng life. So please do leave that in the comment below. Yeah. That's it guys. See you next time. Bye.